Nick City and welcome to Touring With Us. Waiting the 26 minutes past train from Cambridge will come and then they'll go to Stone Market. So I saw on the app, of course, the disabled toilets or the gents toilets were out of order. I'm not sure which train station that is. Maybe it's Stone Market rather than Harrison Evans, but these ones were actually open. But yeah. This train will actually go to Ipswich eventually, but it will be stopping at Stone Market for the reason of this, because I'm actually going to have to change to get to this. It cost me around about £12 to get on a single from Bersen Evans to Norwich. And coming back is about £14 on the discount rate, this is. Not the normal rate. It has gone up at least over a pound from the last year. I've got to tell you that it's 18 minutes past 12 p.m. in the afternoon. I had breakfast with my friend who you've probably seen on the channel and uh, my friend uh, known as Fog. Fog or Frog actually? Yeah it's Frog and I'm supposed to be a rat or ratty and you've got Mole as in Giuliani buzzing from the nice and relaxing show. Um, so I've got to get it and pick it up from this platform here. Uh, once Del Boy said on Only Falls and Horses, never take a shortcut across the railway track. <laughs> Always go underneath. Probably use the lift here, walking underneath the path here, and using that lift there. You can use that lift for that side, which that stop is for Cambridge in that direction. So, yeah. That's the board. It does say on time, but we know boards can change at any time. It will be going through Thurston, Elmswell, and Stone Market, Needham Market, and Ipswich. So I'll be heading it into that direction there. In that direction, I'll be heading. So, yeah, next time you see me is probably on a warm train and it should only take about 20 minutes or so to get to Stone Market because it's got to stop at Thurston, Elmswell and then Stone Market about 12.45 and then of course I might have to wait a bit to get the train from of course coming from Ipswich to Stone Market and then off to Dis which is the next stop then Norwich. There's a blue scum plate now. <laughs> Well, when leaving the Bersen Evans train station, there was one guy, um, I think he had a sort of face mask or something like that, and uh, he said the words, can you stop filming, can you stop filming twice? Uh, how did he know I was actually filming him? Or actually pointing it in that direction, or I could have been looking at a game. So the train from Bersen Evans to Stone Market did eventually arrive slightly, tinily, 
delayed but of course this was due and it was explained by the announcer a slight delay due to a slow train in front so I've got here and arrived here on the other side which is this platform here so platform number two is here and platform number one is there you can see it for yourself I haven't used the bridge over there because it actually aches your feet anyway you have to be really fit to do that there is a coffee shop over there and that's a disabled toilets just there the main gents toilets is there the ladies is somewhere down there and there is a coffee shop just there as I just said and this way it goes to Ipswich so it is Thursday the 7th of December 2023 the time now is 16 minutes past 1 p.m. here at this very point now it's time to go to relax with a cappuccino it's about two pound seventy here so yeah it's that little coffee yeah. <laughs> it's all good <laughs> and you've got a, a Christmas lady there <laughs> who I just spoke to so I give the steam I mentioned it's called steam coffee shop here nice I definitely come here again honestly hey, Christmas. How you doing? honestly but very very wisely that's somebody else wishing the lady a, a Merry Christmas lady pouring the coffee my train will be about 51 minutes past 13 which means 51 minutes past 1 p.m. in the afternoon This is the luggage rack. Right. You can't believe this. They're trying to get out of us. So, yeah, I should be arriving in Norwich around about 25 to 30 minutes. What I mustn't do is forget that this luggage is here. <laughs> Because you could very easily do that by just switching off your mind. Hopefully, I won't be doing that. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be about 29 minutes. I would say 20 past two it should arrive in Norwich. Okay, I'm just give myself a warm up. <laughs> Thing, so you can actually hear me <laughs> a little bit more although it's on mono sound rather than stereo but uh, yeah so far no ticket man at the moment but I do have my e ticket here and yes it's only one stop and then Norwich this is the next one Hopefully I'll show you some pictures before it gets dark. <laughs> I'll take that down because it really is annoying me.
Norwich. Change here for services to Great Charmouth, Blunderstock, Cromer, Sheringham and Cambridge. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. Well, I'm at Norwich train station now. You can see a little bit of it right here. A bit like an airport terminal, but obviously you don't have to go too much security-wise. Um, you don't have to have your passport, only your e-ticket or your actual train ticket if you have one, or whatever ticket that you have from your destination on the train and this is Starbucks just behind me so you've got a clock over there co-op is over there well a kind of co-op subway and uh, AMT coffee I believe Costa coffee is over there as well empty shop and Douglas H Smith and the toilets are just around the corner there used to be a piano here, but they don't have it there. And this is the entrance here, and the ticket office is over there. BBC did an interview over there once. The ticket office is currently still open here at Norwich. Well, it appears to be open. And there's ticket machines as well for cash and card currently. Of course, as I say, I've arrived here at Norwich train station. So I'll be heading towards the eight straight bus, which is the Deerham bus around the Norwich area, which actually goes to Deerham. And I'll be heading towards the train station um, bus stop. And that will take me into the bus station of Norwich, where I'll pick up the X11, which will go straight to the market gates of Great Yarmouth. Yeah, I've arrived here in good time, I think. And hopefully, touch wood, I pray to God that I return easily and safely on a train on the 12th of December 2023, that being a Tuesday. It is Thursday the 7th of December 2023. It's time to get my eight straight bus, which will take me to the bus station to get my X11 bus to Great Yarmouth. Come on in, let's go. Well, sadly, I got at the bus stop a little bit too late here, sadly. About 48 minutes past the express route, 47 minutes past. But I tracked it and I did miss it. So, at least I know that on bustimes.org, where you can track all your buses. I'm going to have to get one to the main city centre and walk a bit I think so I missed the eight straight bus never mind about that it's just one of those things it's still a little bit cold here I'm just outside the train station just here at the famous Norwich train station so it's about half an hour walk from the train station of Norwich to the Norwich FC championship currently at the moment here in 2033 football stadium which is just literally down that way if I play my cards right I might actually get the 7 minutes past 3 8 straight to the bus station if it's running on time well I'm going to have to track it on bustimes.org which is the best place to track all the buses
So, of course, this wraps up the video for today. There will be more videos to come. Yes, I'm not using the actual radio mic here because, you know, I'm just talking as I am right now in this echoed sounding room. It's been a while since I've actually been in this room. I'm sure I've been in this room before. So, yeah, my time now is about quarter past six here. I did arrive around about between 4 and 5 p.m. in the afternoon. I had to walk from the bus station of Market Gates in Great Yarmouth. I managed to get the X11 bus from Norwich to Great Yarmouth. Of course, uh, changing on the 8th straight from the Norwich train station to, of course, Norwich bus station. But I arrived here in good time. And, uh, of course, uh, Claire introduced me um, to the place once more, although, of course, she's introduced me alongside um, her partner, Wayne, for a very, very long time, even before the COVID pandemic, uh, we have known each other. So, yeah, thanks to a good friend of mine called Phil, and, of course, yeah, from Cambridge, I wouldn't know two words or two directions of where to go to get to Great Yarmouth. If it weren't for the man who hasn't been, of course, traveling for a long time, uh, despite him knowing where to go and knowing how to get to Great Yarmouth, you know, it's very strange that he's not traveling as much, maybe because he's old, that kind of thing, and he's a lot older than me. He's in his 60s, but, you know, might be a lot of other reasons why he's not travelling to Great Yarmouth in this sort of time of the year. But, of course, maybe when you're young, it's more easier. But I was able to get down here. I walked all the way down here. I've got to say that. And, yeah, it was an experience on travelling here. And knowing that there is a bus that arrives at Norwich bus station, not train station, but bus station, is a miracle for me. You know, it's just so magical. When you get to Norwich bus station, once you get there, there's always a bus waiting. I've never, very rarely, in fact, seen a bus that's not turned up at the actual bus station of Norwich, unless I'm mistaken by that. But it's run by first, Connect bus actually take you to the station. Well, they pretty much all do that, but the best one to get is the 8 straight, which will go to Deerham after the Norwich bus station. But it's a lot easier going straight to the bus station. You haven't got to walk up all these hills. But, yeah, it was nice to see Norwich again. And uh, whilst going past the actual... Um, um, Weatherspoon's there, which is called the Bell, which is not actually a hotel. It actually does state the Bell Hotel in Norwich. But when I went past there, it wasn't as busy as it would be in the summer, obviously, because it's winter. But it's been dry most of the time. Apparently, we've heard stories, or maybe true stories, that it's been raining in Beres and Edmonds and Haverhill and many other places inland have experienced rain today one of my friends and family members have told me but there you go i've got gb news in the background so that's if you can hear waffle in the background um, it's 18 21 6 21 p.m in the afternoon and it is still thursday the 7th of december 2023 with a huge smile there i'm let's see by the way just in case you did sort of get an introduction by myself but yeah um as i say claire one of the hosts introduced me to this room here because apparently the radiator in the other room that we normally have number 18 is not working that's what she told us and it is actually working here in this room i haven't been in this room since goodness me uh, you know probably lockdown i'm sure it was this room or the one next to me but i do know there is a staircase down here 
and of course there is a bathroom just round to my right and of course if you're watching me it'll be on the left hand side but yeah it is a room that is attached to a ensuite if you like a toilet and a shower not a bath by the way it doesn't have a bath in it it's one of those kind of b&b's that doesn't actually have a bath has an obviously sink and that kind of thing but remember this kind of b&b maybe others might be the same they do have a system where you turn the tap on the hot tap and then the shower will work so if you think the shower does not work at any particular bnb it might be different to this bnb might be the same i don't know but you could try that possibility if you think there's no hot water running through the shower for example so it could well be for example that the hot water is not running first so you've got to run it first and then the hot water should run but make sure you turn off the hot water first uh, so that you'll get your hot water in your shower make sure you don't keep the hot water running because uh, that would save a huge bill to of course the um, people that run the place so I've got a chest of drawers here this is a double bed behind me I can't really do a bed test I could go there but of course yeah it would look really really silly I'm not one of those people that would just do bed tests I, you know you know I could just test it sitting down but yeah uh, some videographers actually do bed tests and all that kind of thing and they think they get of course um bed bugs i don't know if i'll get any on this double bed here the next bed here is the single bed just in case you're wondering here so i'm going to leave that racing through your mind and um, yeah i've set out everything here there will be a behind the scenes version of this so you can see all the stuff that i've pretty much set up uh, I have had something to eat. I'm going to try and stick to a budget. It's not going to be easy with the amount that I've got at the moment. I'm not going to give too much away of what I've got to spend because it's private business. But, you know, if you do want to support the channel, feel free to let us know. Please do uh, share us your, um, you know, feedback. Or um, maybe that's not the right word. But, of course, maybe show us your support for touring with us. Uh, Kelvin McKenzie is on GB News at the moment talking about Doobs and Co on GB News. Fascinating conversation. I can't say too much of what it is because, you know, it might not be interesting to some people. It's just talking about the Boris thing, you know. I'm not going to go into details, okay? Uh, that happened a long time ago and they're still sort of talking about it but anyway uh, never mind all about that of course we will do a talk of the day and i will actually go live from time to time if i do go live then you'll see it as i go and it'll be live from the room that i am in if you want to call it a studio feel free to do that we've got a smoke alarm just above us we've got lovely lighting here what more could you ask for, for a suitable room like this, room number 17? Because I'm on my own here, um, because, you know, I've got people backing me up and all, all that kind of thing, guidance and all that kind of thing. Um, I would definitely say it's um, a treat for me and it's a privilege to come here and make it in the end. I had to go through stone market there was a slight problem with someone going oh uh, turn your camera off how do you know i was filming you you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah people just get to the wrong conclusion sometimes i would have edited it out anyway but of course i am on this occasion i did but you know i would have done it anyway but the thing is why do people just come up with just nonsense don't they sometimes but anyway never mind i'm warned about that I managed to get to stow market which was a little bit slow getting there but we managed to get there in the end it was because and it was announced on the announcer
from the ticket man, I believe it was, that was doing the voicing on the announcing. And once we got going um, to Stow Market, we got there in succession, but of course he was announcing that there was a slight delay because of a slow moving train in front. So that was causing a slight delay, but it was only slightly late. Um, that's probably the cause of that one. But it left me about an hour or so to get to the train station of Stone Market on platform one, I believe it is. No, it's platform two. No, platform four. Well, not platform four. Where did I get that from? No, platform one was the first one. I had to then cross over to platform two to get the Norwich train. Uh, which eventually went to Norwich through this at 51 minutes past one, otherwise known as 13.51 in 24-hour clock mode, but that's 13.51. But, yeah, and then from Norwich, Acle Street, to the bus station, eventually, uh, the seven minutes past two eventually turned up, and I got the X11 to the market gates, of Great Yama. I did text um, the hosts uh, that I was on my way and I have turned up which is good and um, of course hopefully touch wood I pray to God that I return fully without no issues. I've heard a lot of rumours that it might be a little bit wet over the weekend but it's apparently not going to snow which is good news. Anyway, you're going to leave that racer for your mind and uh, thank you for watching this video here. As always, give the video a thumbs up and uh, if you want more of this kind of thing in the future, uh, do let us know. Hit that thumbs up if you do. Leave us a comment, please, and tell us what you think about our videos here. We always showcase something a little bit different for everyone here and, of course, we always give you updates on things. There might be some football games over the weekend that we could cover well i'll be doing the commentary here and hopefully i'll be using the sound on the microphones for that you notice i'm not using the microphones right now because i haven't got one attached to me right now but i will eventually i'm due to go on the radio on monday between one and four on the step back with tracy show on harbour radio that'll be exciting can't say too much at the moment but I'd like you all to tune into that if you can. But don't forget, if you forget the show that I'm on, please do, well, listen out for the actual highlights of it because it's on Mixcloud, Harbour Radio, Step Back with Tracy. I'll repeat once more, Step Back with Tracy. So that'll be on Monday's well, that particular interview will be on this Monday, being, of course, Monday the 11th of December 2023, between 1 and 4 p.m. That's her regular show slot, but I'll be on between that sort of time. I don't quite know. It's nothing that I can confirm on that one. Um, she'll have to confirm with me um, in a message, you know, to me as on when she wants me to come on. But anyway, I'll leave that uh, for now. I'm not gonna say too much about it until you listen out for it. And hopefully I'll be able, I'll be able to get the recording of it and put it on to, to Touring With Us so everyone can hear it. It's all about Touring With Us. I probably need to write things down. I haven't been on radio for the absolute donkey's years. But anyway, enough of me talking because I've rambled on too much now. I'm going to watch the rest of the TV news. It's the only channel I'll probably end up watching. I probably can get other channels like Challenge or something like that. I probably will end up watching that. But anyway, forget all that. I've got my laptop here. Uh, for the first time, I've brought a laptop here um, because I would bring another one because it's not working properly anyway. It's uh, Windows 10. It's useless. <laughs> They're not very good anymore. But of course, this is a laptop that's been safe and put in a special bag and it's probably behind me in a special bag but yeah it's 
probably in the other bag, but yeah. Uh, already it ruts up, which you can just about see there. It's there. So, as always, hit the thumbs up and, you know, subscribe to Toriel with us if you haven't already. Sorry if I bored you to death here. But, yeah, anyway, keep that thumbs up going. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully there will be. Remember, we are the golden show that never ends, or we hope that never ends. Peace out for now.